Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who has the best ballet company of them all? Well, that's an easy answer. The Grand Rapids Ballet, right? The junior company soon raising the curtain on Snow White. And joining us to share more, we've got Attila. He's the company's director, right? The, the big, big dog, Maya, who I don't know if you can tell, is Snow White in this ballet. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's, it's wonderful to see you guys again. Every time we see you, we know there's something special hitting the stage. So, Attila, an overview of Snow White the Ballet. Snow White the Ballet. You know, it's very exciting. We're opening in a couple of weeks. And I am very, very excited to, to do Snow White because it was actually the very, very first ballet that I did, I think about 12 years ago when I became the director of the junior company, and this was the very, very first production that we did. Uh, we've done it since then, but I'm very excited to bring it back with a completely new class and a new energy and a whole new vision on the project. So you're kind of taking it back to where it started, right? You're, you're kind of bringing it back. Yes. But it, as you say, it's something new every time because new dancers, new excitement, new energy. Maya, you've got the lead, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're here. How hard is it to dance as Snow White as, uh, uh, you're the on point here, right? I right. mean, you, you're spending a lot of time on your toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it takes a lot of practice and dedication, but um, overall, it's worth it, and it's mm -hmm. fun to work with other people, and it's a hard role, but it definitely pays off. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, it better be. It's the lead. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've got to do all the hard work, right? Yeah. What, what's practice been like? How, how have you felt about the show coming together? Um, we definitely do get challenged yeah, in rehearsals, yeah. oh, but no um, I think that collaborating with other dancers, younger dancers, and it's just a very diverse company. Sure. Um, so I think that it's very challenging. I but, believe it. Yeah. Attila, you're, we're talking about, and she brings up a good point, these are younger dancers. I mean, this is the junior company. A really good way for younger dancers to kind of get introduced to some ballet. Also great for fans to be oh, introduced. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the junior company itself is part of the school. So we have about 55 dancers here. Uh, which, when, when you consider it, that's, that's a pretty big cast. Sure is. And, you know, the youngest member is probably around 10 years old, and the oldest dancer is, is dancers that are graduating from high school. So there's a pretty big age gap there. So it gives a wonderful opportunity for the dancers to, to learn from each other, to feed off of each other, and take that energy on stage. And the same thing goes for the audience. You know, it's a, it's a very diverse uh, crowd on stage, and the same thing happens in the audience. And for the audience, this is a, for someone to take to a kid to their first ballet. Yeah. What, I mean, what short is it a shorter performance, uh, intermissions? Yeah. I mean, they're trying to figure out for parents who are watching this right now or grandparents what they're getting into if they come to the show. Yeah, it's definitely a very good show for all age groups. Um, there's a lot of acting in it and the ballet. Okay. There are lots of fun costumes to look at. Um, and some more on the shorter end, we try to stick to like less intermission just uh, yeah. because attention span. But I mean, it's fun for all age groups. Yeah, when you say it, I'm asking personally for me and my daughter. Trust me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the attention span isn't always there, so you got to keep them engaged. Yeah. And this is a good ballet for those yeah. types of kids. Yeah, and I mean, there is like maturity in the ballet. There are those fun scenes with <laughs> lots of jumping and fun music, but there are also those more intimate scenes that are also. More for oh, I know you're going to kiss. Yeah. I know. I, I, you say, oh, there's going to be a kiss in this. Just warn the kids beforehand <laughs> that the gross stuff is going to happen. When it comes to uh, a, a good event for kids as well, you guys are hosting a party, uh, the uh, Snow White's Tea Party, right? Yeah, Snow White's Tea Party. It's going to happen right downtown at, at City Flats Hotel on our second Sunday. Uh, I believe it's on the 10th uh, at 11 o'clock. And we're going to have tons of fun activities. Uh, some great little snacks and food for the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be opportunities to take pictures with Snow White. Photo ops. Yes, absolutely. Love and that. with some <laughs> of the characters, we are going to uh, talk about the story itself, because, um, which is actually very important, because uh, uh, when you're thinking about Snow White, and we mentioned Snow White, most of us immediately jump to, oh, yeah, I've seen the movie. But... Uh, I have a tendency to always base my choreography on the original text. So it is actually based on a book. And if you have read the book and you've seen the movie, you know that it, it slightly is different. 
So we are going to talk about the story. We're going to read the story at, at the Snow White's Tea Party. So kids are more familiar with, you know, what they're actually going to see on stage. So that's going to be a fun little intimate get-together party right before they come and see the performance. So, uh, I, you know, I always encourage everybody to come to the tea parties because you don't want to miss out on the fun. And of course, Mile, you'll be there. I mean, right? I mean, of you're course. Snow White. It's your, it's your yeah. tea party, so yeah. there's some great photo ops. And I love what you said, Attila. It's a, another great opportunity for that younger generation to be introduced, uh, introduced to ballet because on stage, they're just dancing. There's no words. So to come to that tea party, you get the story explained so you know, that, and then you go see it. And you, oh, it all makes sense. Absolutely. You know, and, and you know, and one, one of the goals uh, with my ballets is to, to keep it educational for younger kids. And, you know, uh, like I said, I always rely on the original text. So in, in, in my mind, in my world, you know, uh, what I'm trying to do is encourage younger kids and students to pick up a book and read it. You know, um, movies are fun and great, but don't wait for the movie to come out. Read the book. And the book's always better, Attila. We know that. The book's <laughs> always better. Maya, thank you so much for the time. I'd thank say you. break a leg, but I don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> Attila, thank you so much for your time this morning as well. It was a well. pleasure to be here. You need to see this show. What a great, great show to take your kids to. Ever want to introduce your kids, your grandkids to ballet? As this is really the prime opportunity. grballet.com for more information.